Hi, welcome back to Fake It to Make It, or hi if you're new, I'm Katie. Today I am decorating in my Skinny Classic, and I think I'm gonna use this oldie but goodie, this fall book, and I have used a lot of these stickers, um, but there's still some good ones in here. So, we're gonna get started. This video may end up being a voiceover. My husband is doing something in the garage and it's making like a screeching sound, so I hope that you can't hear it. Um, if you can, at this point, I will probably cut the, cut the sound and then do a voiceover. So, so this video will be a voiceover because I could hear, um, his machinery making a noise. So my craft room and office is downstairs, but it shares a wall with the garage in his office upstairs. And he did not know I was filming and had started this machine and so that's okay so we have a voiceover today so I'm just looking through the sticker book which was one of my favorites um, last year I really love these doodles in this fall book so I'm just trying to pick out what stickers I want to use um, what colors I want to use and I was trying to find something I had picked out this um, quote on the orange sticker and so I was really trying to find um, colors that match this and do like a very I don't want to say monochromatic because it's not one color but um, just like this orange and then the darker color on the sticker so I was just flipping through trying to find stickers that kind of went with this one So it is morning when I'm doing this voiceover and the birds were going crazy. I had to shut the doors because it sounded like we were about to be attacked by birds from Alfred Hitchcock, if you know that reference. Um, either that or it was about to be like an ASMR, go take a nap video because the wind chi you could hear the wind chimes and then when the birds weren't being crazy, you could just hear them chirping. It, it literally was putting me to sleep. So door is now closed and you guys are none the wiser except that I of course I just told you but um still just trying to pick stickers out I cut a lot of me flipping through this out because it was just that me flipping through this sticker book trying to make a decision I was really indecisive this day um with what stickers I wanted to use and I don't know why I just, do you ever have those days where you can flip through the same sticker book 20 times and I don't know, you just can't make a decision. That was me today, as you'll see, because I can't even make a decision about this sticker because in a minute I, surprise, pull it back up. So I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why we do that or why I do that, but I feel like I'm probably not the only one. So like I said, I'm doing this voiceover in the morning. Um, it's always a little bit easier in the morning because I'm typically the first one up if I need to do a voiceover. Or my daughter's gone at school. My husband um, is usually gone to work. Uh, my son is at college or still sleeping usually, so I have a nice quiet house. Um, but a lot of times in the morning when I'm getting ready, I like to watch YouTube videos. It's something I can kind of just put on and watch while I'm putting my makeup on or doing my hair. Um, this morning I was watching Jess at Knit Plan Jess. If you don't follow her, you should definitely go check her videos out. She does... She uses the Happy Planner Daily among other planners. She uses other planners too, but she's kind of like the daily queen. I feel like her and Dee from Dee, uh, Dee Planner Babe, I think is her handle, are like the daily queens. They are you. They like use the heck out of those daily sheets 
and they're so creative and so cute. So I was watching Jess this morning um, do her latest daily sheet spreads um, and just kind of enjoying that. I don't know, it kind of relaxes me in the morning while I'm having my coffee and getting ready for the day. So you'll have to let me know down in the comments how you like to start your day. Are you, uh, do you watch a lot of YouTube? Do you only watch Plan With Me's? Um, let me know. I really enjoy YouTube. I watch Plan With Me's, but I also watch home decor hauls. I watch cleaning videos, um, like some mom content. I just really enjoy YouTube. Um, and I go through phases where I watch it a little bit more than others, but I typically especially like to watch YouTube in the morning or um, like when I'm making dinner. Um, I have a little phone stand in my kitchen, I keep in my kitchen, and when I'm cooking, we'll throw on a couple YouTube videos and watch those as I cook dinner. So as you can see, I kind of did a little sticker surgery on this lawn box. I like to put a lawn box on in my Skinny Classic on the right-hand side, um, just because Friday I'm usually done seeing patients fairly, fairly early, in the early afternoon hours. Um, and so sometimes on my way home from work on Fridays, I will pick up some groceries so I don't have to do it on the weekend. Like I'm already out, so I'm just trying to like better utilize my time or I'll run a couple errands. For example, this Friday is payday. So typically on my way home, I will go to the bank and pull cash out for my cash envelope stuffing when I do my budget and sinking funds and all that good stuff. So um, if you are into your budget or into budgeting or want to get into budgeting or just curious, I have um, some of those videos on my channel too. Just look under the heading budget and you'll find all of those. Um, but anyway, so I like to do a long list box over here because for me, the weekend is like kind of Friday afternoon, Saturday, Sunday. And so I can write down, you know, errands I need to run, items I want to pick up. And it just works really well for me because this is my on the go planner, which typically means, um, you know, I really utilize it during the week with errands and running around and keeping track of what kid needs to be where but also um, it works really well for the weekend like i said just for list making running errands so i almost always if i can find a coordinating lawn box we'll put one on that right side and speaking of on the go planners i know a lot of people last year weren't using them because we weren't really going a lot of places. So I'm curious now that things are slowly getting like back to, we'll say normal-ish, right? But you know, like maybe you're going out more, the kids are back in school, whatever it may be. Are you using an on-the-go planner? Um, if you are, let me know down in the comments what it is that you're using. Do you just have a notebook? Do you use a mini, a mini dashboard, horizontal, a, a skinny mini, a skinny classic? Or do you not use Happy Planner? Do you use something else? Um, I'm definitely curious, so let me know down below what it is that you use. And then I find this sticker, I really like the colors of it. It's like deep, like burgundy color. That's um, the lettering on the original sticker I found in the bottom right corner. And I really wanted to use it, but see, I even thought about peeling that up. Um, but it just wasn't going to fit anywhere. It was going to cover that box too much. And I had already put another sticker there. Um, I think had I had found this one first. It would have made its way somewhere into this spread, but I didn't want to have to peel any stickers up and risk ripping them or, you know, ripping the paper. So I, I decided against it and ended up putting it back. Um, and then I had pulled out this Yay Seasons. This is from the new fall release. Really 
adorable seasonal book. It has um, a lot of seasons in it. And because I felt like this page needed something else and because I had used so much of like the little deco stickers already in that sticker book last year, um, these were perfect. I, I did a spread with all of these and like kind of made my own boxes. It was really cute, I thought. Anyway, um, but I had a few like little leaves and acorns and stuff left over. Um, so it was perfect. And again, I just was real doing like this two-tone color color spread, color way, color palette, whatever the phrase is. Um, so just like that orange and then the like the darker burnt red color. Like I didn't, I wanted to kind of stay like in that spectrum. I mean, these green leaves and stuff are really cute, but I didn't have anything else green and I didn't want to. Um, and I think that that just added like that little something extra that this spread needed. Um, and I actually purchased another one of these sticker books because I think it's so adorable um and I needed more of these fall stickers it's so cute and I don't remember if I flip through this a little bit on camera or not but there are some really cute stickers like I feel like specifically for Thanksgiving at least that's what I'm going to use them for um I just really really like this book um I think it's definitely you know, worth the price. You get several seasons in it, and it just kind of, in my opinion, like kind of made the spread just a little bit cuter. And so that's it. This is the spread. You'll see my hands moving because I was talking because I wasn't planning on making this a voiceover, except you could hear my husband's equipment. So thank you so much for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, give this a like if you did enjoy it. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see you next time, guys. Have a great day. Bye.